Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is my December wrap up. I am so sorry I didn't upload a video yesterday because I kind of do it every Wednesday, but I live on my own and I also live with my parents and I was there for Christmas break. And guess what I forgot to take back to my own home? My camera battery. Which sucked because yesterday I was totally ready to film and yeah, I couldn't because my camera wouldn't work without a battery, of course. I've read so many books in December and I'm really proud of myself because I've read nine books and that's insane. I know, that's like one book every three days. Okay, so the first book I've read was Every Last Word by Tamara Island Stone. I gave this book five stars on Goodreads and that because I absolutely loved it. This book is about a girl that deals with severe OCD the pure O kind, so the, the pure obsessive kind and not so much compulsive. I thought the storyline of this book was amazing and also the sort of plot twist at the end. And I'm not going to spoil anything but it was so shocking and heartbreaking and I cried so much. And seriously, this book just... no. I really love this book and I really want to own my own copy. Most of the books I've read in December I don't actually own as a physical copy. The second book I've read is Binge by Tyler Oakley. I gave this book four stars because I thought it was beautifully written. I really enjoyed reading about Tyler's private life and the things he never told us on YouTube and he gained so much respect from me. Seriously, he had a really tough life and yeah, and he's also always so kind and sweet on the internet and it's yeah, I don't know, I just really liked it. Um, third book is a Christmas book because I promised myself I'd read Christmas books and I'm sorry I didn't really follow my to be reading for December that I posted in November. Anyway, the uh, third book I've read is My True Love Gave to Me by various authors and I'm not going to name them all 12. There were 12 Christmas stories in this book. I gave it three stars. The book had really good stories but also a few that just didn't get me. But I liked half of the stories really much. The fourth book is a book that I have been putting off for really long. I started it and halfway I stopped and I just couldn't get any further in this book. And that book is Doctor Who Plague of the Cybermen by Justin Richards. This book is about the Doctor, of course, as Matt Smith, without a companion. Anyway, the Doctor goes back in time and finds a village that is threatened by a Cyberman attack. I thought this was a very slow read and I couldn't really get through it, but the story itself was really clever and yeah, I just liked it because it was Doctor Who, but it wasn't the best. So I gave it three stars on Goodreads. The fifth book I've read is My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga? Jasmine Warga? Jasmine Warga. My roommate just came out. Okay, where was I? This is about a girl who is really depressed and wants to kill herself, wants to commit suicide, but she does not dare to do this alone. That's why she goes online and finds someone who wants to commit suicide with her, a suicide partner. It's YA Contemporary. I like this book very much and I gave it four stars on Goodreads. The sixth book I've read is one I do own and that is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This book is about a girl who has um, a skit. This is... Um, a disease that she is basically allergic to everything and anyone in the world and she has this severe allergic reactions and no one knows what triggers it so she doesn't leave her house and she hasn't left her house for 17 years but one day they get new neighbors and they have a son and she falls in love with the son and this changes her life forever this book wrecked me when I finished it I just I put it down and I cried for a solid 15 minutes. Everyone who hasn't read this book just should because it is absolutely beautiful. Did I mention that I gave this book 5 stars on Goodreads? The seventh book I've read is also one I own, one I bought in London. 
and that is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. This is one of the best book series I have read. I haven't read the rest of it, but I assume they will be arriving today and um, yeah, I am really happy because I really want to read them. This book is about a boy, Todd, who lives in Prentice Town and in this town everybody hears each other's thoughts and they call it the noise because they can't shut it down. They also can hear animals, they can talk with animals, which is a bit weird but just belongs in the story. Then one day Todd goes to the swamp with his dog and there he finds a place of complete silence. This will change Todd's life forever. I absolutely love this book. It made me cry and it made me laugh and it just, just kept me reading all the way through because it is so suspenseful. Yeah, this book is definitely my favourite read of the month. The eighth book I've read is a Boy Called Christmas. This book I also own a real copy of and it is gorgeous and when you take off the dust jacket it's beautifully Christmas red and I like that very much. This is an incredibly sad but uplifting and also sometimes happy story about how Father Christmas became Father Christmas. I really love this book. It was just great to read during the holidays and yeah this is something I would read every year during Christmas because, yeah, it was just great. And I gave it four stars on Goodreads because it was just that awesome. The ninth book I read this month is Soundless by Rochelle Mead, the author of the Vampire Academy series. This book is about a girl who lives in a Chinese mountain village. Chinese-ish, because it is sort of fantasy. It's a lot based on Chinese folklore and I really like that aspect of the book. In this town, everyone is deaf. This town is also threatened by going blind, which isn't really great if you're fully relying on sign language. They have precious metals, and they send these metals down a zip line in exchange for food. But one day, this girl, Faye, regains her hearing, and then she goes on this journey to save her village. I like the story, I really did, but overall it felt kind of flat, because it's just a really short book, and the characters just, just didn't really develop that much as I would have wanted them to. But the story was great and I do recommend it to you guys. Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll leave my Goodreads in the description below. And also my other information, my Instagram and stuff. Please comment below what your favourite books of the month were. You can like this video if you liked it, um, if you like. And please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!